What's up everybody, I am Jaspreet Singh and welcome to the Minority Mindset. So the gym that I go to has this little like TV area in the front of our locker room and I was getting ready to leave and as I'm leaving, I saw on TV that there was this infomercial on where this guy was teaching people about how to build wealth. Obviously, I wanted to see what this was about so I sat down to see what was going on. This guy was talking about the powerful value of having a good credit score and he was saying that little things like one missed payment can really hurt your credit score and so he was promoting his business which helps people improve their credit score. Nothing out of the ordinary so far, right? The interesting thing was that this system that he created to build your credit score is a way to help you build wealth and become wealthy. And <laughs> as you could probably imagine, I was pretty confused when I heard that. Improving your credit score makes it easier for you to get more consumer debt but relating that to wealth building didn't really add up. But luckily, he brought on some testimonials to answer the questions that I had in my mind. And so three or four people came on the air and they said things like, my credit score was screwed up because I missed some payments or I had a divorce or some other thing like that. And then they went on to say that after they had their credit score fixed, now they could go out and buy all the luxuries that they couldn't six months ago. And now they can travel a lot more all because they fixed their credit score. And in case you're like me and you're scratching your head wondering how that makes any sense. Let me explain what happened. If you improve your credit score, then you can have easier access to more debt and you can get lower interest rates on some of your loans, right? Pretty reasonable so far. But now, according to this infomercial, once you have this easy access to debt, you will be able to buy all those luxuries that you wanted and you'll be able to go on more trips by getting a loan for these things. And being able to finance all these nice things is what makes you wealthy. Hmm. You know what this calls for? One of these. <sighs> Hearing this on TV in the sacred gym where people go to turn their dreams into gains obviously made me want to make a video on this. Let me start with this. Having easy access to lots of consumer debt, which is debt that you use to buy things that don't pay you, like your boat and your cars and your house and your vacations and your clothes, does not make you wealthy. What? Owning a lot of luxury and name brand things that you have to pay to keep every single month doesn't make you wealthy. What? And having a $100,000 monthly limit on your credit cards doesn't make you wealthy either. What? Wealthy means you can do what you want and buy what you want without worrying about how you're gonna pay for it because you know how to live below your means and you have income coming in to support your lifestyle. So believe it or not, the person who owns a beat up and used and completely paid off Toyota Camry with $2,000 a month in passive income is wealthier than the person who owns a nice Lamborghini, who has to pay $2,000 a month to keep it, who has no passive income, who has no investments, and who has no money left over after paying off all their expenses every single month. What you own does not make you wealthy unless it's putting money in your pockets. And that's why, unlike what the majority of people believe, your house and your car do not make you wealthy. You have to pay to keep them, you have to pay to maintain them, and they're not paying you to use them. Consumer debt is an expensive tool that makes the banks richer and it keeps you broke, period. Financing a big new boat isn't going to make you wealthy unless you're using it to generate income like by renting it out. When you keep buying things that don't pay you, that you cannot afford with money that's not yours, you get stuck in the cycle of constantly playing catch up by trying to pay off all the things that you have so you never have a chance to actually build wealth and get ahead. Now look, I'm an entrepreneur. I understand that businesses have to sell things in order to make money. That's how business works. And there's nothing wrong with buying luxuries, but you have to make sure that you can afford it. And that's why I'm gonna hammer this home. If you're using debt or a line of credit or financing to buy things that you don't need, that you can't afford, and that don't pay you, it's going to cost you a lot. According to the simple dollar, if you live in America and you have an average amount of debt, you will likely be paying something around $8,000 a year in interest payments 
to pay for the things that don't pay you. The number one reason why the majority of people will never become wealthy is because they get stuck in this cycle of constantly trying to pay off what they own and maintain a certain image by buying all the newest and nicest things and so you never have the chance to get ahead or build your wealth because your money is always going out and nothing is coming back. And that's why it's so ironic that this infomercial is telling you that they can make you wealthy by giving you easier access to bigger homes and cars and boats and more vacations. It doesn't make any sense. That is why it is so important for you to learn about money and be financially literate. This way you don't fall into these traps and this way you can understand the difference between something that takes your money and something that makes you money. And if you do want to learn more about money and investing, we have an ebook on it and you can read it for free when you sign up for our money and finance newsletter. And you can do that by clicking the link up here or by clicking the link in the description below. Thank you for watching our video. If you enjoyed it, hit that thumbs up button and share it with one friend so we can help spread the word. Don't miss our new videos on entrepreneurship, business, and money every Wednesday and Friday at 7.30 a.m. So hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. That way you actually find out when our new videos are released. And as always, keep hustling.